In this video we will cover fitting the cutting attachments. Okay, the first attachment we'll put on is the, the line trimmer. We already have the line trimmer attachment onto the guard. So to fit the, the line trimmer attachment we'll remove the, the nut. And in the side of the unit here is a small hole where we replace the spindle locking uh, pin. It's actually the four millimeter hex key and pa pass it right into the uh, spindle of the gearbox. This allows us then to remove the nut. The nut is a left-handed thread. So this comes off in a clockwise direction, like so. Take off the protective cover and the inner flange. These parts are not required for the line trimmer. So these need to be put away with the metal blade for future use. To fit the line trimmer head, we just leave the four millimeter hex key in position so the spindle is locked and we screw it on like so. That's screwed on in an anti-clockwise direction and just do it up firmly like so. To fit the blade, we need to remove, again, the, the uh, spindle lock key is put in place and we remove the line trimmer head in a clockwise direction. The metal blade we place over the small spigot on the inner flange and make sure it's correctly located. We then place the outer flange on. We place the protective washer or cover on and then the nut. And the nut is placed on and turned in a anti-clockwise direction. Using the tube spanner supplied, we tighten firmly, holding the spindle four millimeter key. We tighten firmly, like so, and we remove the key. Then we need to adjust the guard, so we push on the, the small tab on the guard, that's on the line trimmer clip-on attachment, and push in and up slightly. Then we go to the other side, same thing, in, and then pull it up, and the section comes off. This is now ready to use as a brush cutter.